in the realm of legal proceedings, there loom apprehensions regarding external forces, accentuating the significance of equity and impartiality within the judicial framework, consequently impacting the judgments rendered by juries. One of the jurors called up the court to inform them that she did not know whether she could actually be fair and impartial. She was asked to come to court this morning and went before the defense and went before the district attorney's office and answered questions about how she got to that conclusion. And she said, in part, that she got calls just yesterday alone from, quote, friends, colleagues and family, quote, questioning my identity as a juror. She continued, I don't believe I can be fair and unbiased and let the outside influences not affect me in the courtroom. This hits at the heart of the difficulty for these jurors over the course of the next six to eight weeks. These are individuals who they are anonymous, yet we and the sides have some details about who these individuals are, their neighborhoods, their occupation. The stance taken by juries is perceived as reflective of an array of societal influences and biases capable of compromising the sanctity of the legal process. Their contention regarding the challenge in upholding a fair and unprejudiced stance due to external pressures, such as solicitous phone calls from acquaintances, colleagues, and kinfolk, casts doubt upon the anonymity of the jury. This is construed as compelling evidence that societal norms and prejudices exert a pervasive sway over individual decision-making faculties. Delving into the significance of jury anonymity becomes imperative in safeguarding fairness and shielding jurors from external interference. Equally paramount is the safeguarding of the procedural integrity of juries, evincing concern over the public scrutiny of jury deliberations and the potential sway of societal pressures.